Hey guys, if you're serious about taking your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash maddenhelp12. You will receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses anywhere. So if you're interested, head on over to the link in the description below. What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over some offensive gameplay against a very good opponent with a 99 overall team. Let me see, we're going to be running mainly uh, out of Jumbo with a couple of other formations uh, mixed in. So we go on offense first, we see that he has a spread uh, style look coming out in the uh, waggle, but we audible down to the dive um, and just see what we could pick up. Um, the whole first drive, um, at least for half the field, I believe that we're able to run the dive um, majority of the time. The only time he really stops it is when he gets a block shed from the uh, defenders. So since he keeps coming out in this three down lineman look out of the dollar, we're just going to keep running the ball um, as much as we can. You see here he tries to start buckling down um, to try and stop it. Um, but you see there he gets a lucky block shed. That's the only time he stopped it on that uh, drive so far. Um, so we're going to come back and run it uh, right down his throat again. He actually gets a good shot through the gap, um, but we're able to, to get um, through the other hole on the right side. So that brings up fourth down, and we're going to try and uh, pass the ball because I was afraid that he was going to run commit here. Um, so we're going to do the flat um, corner combo, but you see he doesn't cover the corner right off the back, so we're able to dot that up uh, for the first down. So now that we're on the right hash, we're going to flip the play, still run the ball. You see uh, we had great push, but once again, you know, the block sheds are just overpowered this year, so we try and go to the power O which is really uh, good against when they pinch the D-line down like that. So that's why I was trying to expose him uh, with that. So now we're back on the left side, so we're going to run the strong side to the right. And you see we have the tight end once again wide open down the middle, but uh, you can't catch a cold in Madden 17, so we drop that. Uh, we're going to go right back to it. Uh, we see that he takes the user for the drag, and we're able to actually hold on to that ball, bringing it down to the six-yard line. So we're going to come out in the unbumpable route on the left side of the field because I want him to blitz because that's whenever he went to this formation, he was uh, guaranteed to blitz and he always kept taking uh, triangle and he pretty much has to. So as soon as he hikes the ball, you see he goes with triangle and we're able to throw it to the back side for an easy touchdown. And now we're going to go to the money play, uh, two-point conversion, short yardage play to hit Dallas Clark as soon as he breaks for an easy um, two-point conversion. So back on offense, we're going to try and establish the runs through in the first quarter. He went down and scored um, on a one-play touchdown that he got lucky on. Well, we were able to lock that up later on in the game. Um, but we're able to you know, try and establish the run. Uh, when he starts to pinch his line like that, um, he's going to luck, you know, get blocked shots. That's the only way he can actually stop it, like I said. So later on in the game, you see we're going to adjust to that and run the power. Um, but right now, we're going to continue to use the... Um, the mesh mixed in with the um, the PA counter waggle play and the halfback dive. Um, so you see here we have the guy wide open in the corner. Um, get a first down. Uh, we're going to go into the second quarter um, at the 44 yard line. Here I'm watching to see that his guy blitzes free off the edge. So I just dump it um, to the running back on the swing route. Um, you know, just adjusting to my opponent, um, seeing what he does. Um, and just trying to counter it. So you see here, we're just trying to pound the rock again. He gets uh, lucky block sheds. Um, sometimes you just have to come to accept that uh, in Madden. I was hoping he ran commit there, um, but also he was playing cover two, but you see he goes to a hard flat, and we're able to hit the corner uh, for an easy touchdown. Uh, so once again, he goes down, scores a touchdown on some bogus plays, but... We are up 15-12 to because he missed uh, the two-point conversion. Uh, trying to run the ball again. Once again, block shed. So we're going to continue um, to adjust to him. So like I said, he runs this every single time. And it's a heavy pressure to the right. But he's always blitzing to the left. And he has to take triangle. So we're just going to keep hitting him. You're going to notice with the, the same exact unbumpable play. Because he has no answer for that. Because he's blitzing six players. Um, and only has one user across the middle. So I got pretty mad on that last um, that last play. So we're going to try and hit him with a streak uh, down the middle with a high point pass. But, you know, we get a 
uh, catch drop. You know, that's very normal in Madden as well. He tries to take that. We didn't block on the right side, so that's what's going to happen. Um, fourth down. Uh, we're stubborn here. We're blocking everyone uh, since he's in cover two, and we're trying to hit him, the Marvin Harrison, down the sideline. Um, but you see, you know, once again, they're going to get a block shed. Um, so we have to try and force the ball quicker, but we get sacked. So. so we actually get the ball back with nine seconds left, and he's playing deep coverage, and we're going to try and hit uh, that Z spot route. So we're going to streak the left receive, uh, tight end uh, and the right tight end, and we're going to put Derrick Henry on a wheel. Um, I was going to actually try and hit him down the sideline, um, but he actually takes a guy over there and covers a man-to-man. -man. So I just throw it underneath to Edelman, Edelman and uh, we're going to settle for a 55-yarder uh, with time expiring to go up 18-12. to So starting the second half, we're up 18-12. We get the ball back um, on offense. Um, and the same thing, he's running this blitz consistently so uh, we're just going to try and chew some clock you see he's getting great block sheds um and there's not really we could do to that so uh i try and go to the gun split close uh i should have had that open but he throws it right into the back of his offensive lineman's head so we're going to go to this play um hit him that's the easiest play that i found you know consistently beating him um later on in the drive you're actually going to see he's going to jump that and we actually throw it to um to triangle but you see there uh, he's trying to man him up um, and cover everyone um, on the right side of the field the left side here you see you make the adjustment to run the power O which was really good against this if you flipped it and ran it to the left um, here we're gonna again throw the uh, quick option to the unbumpable route um, it's just tough to defend especially if you're blitzing someone off that edge and not manning them up um, you know fourth quarter now with a four 30 to go uh, run the power O just trying to chew some clock um, kick a field goal go up by two possessions he was really stubborn and did not want to get out of um, the defense um, and I was okay with that because like I said the power O was really good against it uh, consistently getting yards and um, and just chewing clock and that's all I really cared about because I knew if I kicked the field goal I would go up by 11 points two possessions um, and he only had two timeouts left so I knew I pretty much had this game in the bag um, here you see we try and throw the quick route he actually tries to jump it and uh, hits triangle if I would have thrown it he would have picked it but we throw it to triangle for a wide open play gets us down to the one uh, try and run the power doesn't work but uh, we do get in with the QB sneak and what that's going to do is cause him to uh, quit in the fourth quarter with 2 minutes and 15 seconds and we'll get the victory. So I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, against a 99 overall team and we're still able to uh, beat him even though some of the stuff didn't go our way on defense. If you want to check the defensive video out be sure to uh, click the link in the description it will have the defensive link. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. And be sure to check out Madden247.com. And if you'd like to support me, head on over to the link, patreon.com. Not only will you be supporting me, but you will be getting the best content anywhere online for Madden17.